Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the timeline by cloud scope. Now, the timeline is a great visual for when you really want to be able to integrate social media aspects into your data structures, into your data model. And so the idea here is I want to be able to take data like from Twitter, for example, and take things like status updates and likes and retweets and customer sentiment and be able to analyze and show that on a dashboard inside of Power BI. So it's really designed for that. This visual is designed to show a timeline of social media data so that way you can actually see what people are saying about your brand. Now, the one thing to note, this is just purely a visual, so it's not going to actually allow you to pull in Twitter data. To pull in Twitter data, there are several methods you can certainly search for on the web, but just note that the visual here itself, the timeline by CloudScope, while it might be for displaying Twitter data, it does not necessarily pull in Twitter data for you. So that data needs to already be in your data model before you can jump in and start to use it. And like I said, there's various methods you can find on how you can use that if you look and do a quick search. Uh, now, this one is developed again by CloudScope. You've heard me mention their name several times. They actually have quite a few visuals that are around displaying social media data. So you can search and find some other visuals that they have done if you're really interested in displaying that social media type data. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our example today to look at how to use the timeline by CloudScope, an example that I have come up with. All right, so in this example, we're going to be looking at some data from my hometown. I've actually pulled in some Twitter data that did a search for information about the city of Jacksonville. I'm from the city of Jacksonville, Florida. And so what I'd like to do is I'm going to go pull in that Twitter data. If I go up to the Get Data section and select Excel, I can select the Twitter data file. I've uh, kind of dropped it all into an Excel file here for us, so I can share it with you. And I'll select that Twitter data file by hitting Open. And then I'll be able to select the Jacksonville feed spreadsheet that is inside of that workbook, and I'll go ahead and hit load to bring it in. All right, now this data is going to be pulled into Power BI. I can see it appearing in the data model on the right-hand side, and it's ready to use. My next step, though, is going to be to pull in the custom visual, which I can do by going up to the custom visual section in the home ribbon and selecting from marketplace. So I'll select uh, from marketplace, and we'll search for the timeline. You can also type in something like Twitter if you wanted to, and you can see that it'll pull back the ones that are related to Twitter style visuals. So this one here is, uh, they're both by CloudScope by the way, but the one that we're gonna use for this example is the timeline by CloudScope. So I'll select add on that visual. It should bring it into my visualization pane on the right hand side, and I can go ahead and select that to bring it in. Now this particular visual is a little unique in that the way that you bring the fields in is you actually drop them all under the same field section here. You'll see there's a tweet fields list and every one of your fields are gonna get dropped into that one section, okay? So just like this, you'll go ahead and check off all of your fields, just like so. And in my scenario here, you'll see that it also put the created date as a hierarchy. I'm actually gonna switch it off the hierarchy to just return back the created date by itself. All right, so you can see right now it's not displaying anything, but that's because we actually need to map these fields that we've just selected to the fields that are available in the visual itself. You'll do that by going underneath the format paintbrush here, and you'll find underneath the column mapping section is where you can define how each of these fields correlate to properties inside of the timeline. So let's go ahead and expand the cloud, or sorry, excuse me, the column mappings. I'll select the column mappings, and from here we'll choose things like the author name, We'll choose the author screen name, the author picture. All of these things are things you can select from here. And we're basically mapping our fields into the data that's inside of our data set. So you can see it's uh, starting to appear all of the Twitter images, their profile pictures. We're also starting to see their usernames. And then again, I can continue through here and say, well, I want to bring back the tweet date as our created date. I want to bring back likes as liked and retweets as retweeted. And then I also want to be able to bring in something like the tweet tweet text to show the Twitter text that was displayed. Now you'll see on the left-hand side, the text is pretty small here. So if you want to make this a little larger, you can go under the display section, uh, actually, excuse me, underneath formatting. And underneath formatting, you can bump up the text size a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Maybe we bump it up to 15 point font, something like that. You'll also find underneath the uh, display section that you can turn on or off several of these features. The only one that really will really apply for this example is the last one that says show version. If you wanted to, you could actually have it display the version of the timeline by cloud scope that you're using. So I'm using version 1.0.8 for this example. You can also turn that off, of course. Now, the other two fields that you have here, media and quoted tweet, these are turned off and on, but they're actually not really doing anything for this example. 
because there's one other type of field that you can bring in. You can actually bring in a Twitter JSON format. And if you bring in a tweet JSON format, it allows you to actually see any attached media. So for example, if you had a video attached, you could see a screenshot of the video appearing here if I turned on media. Or if you had uh, someone that had quoted another tweet, you can turn on or off that capability here as well. So in my case, I don't have a JSON variation of the Twitter data that we're looking at. So these fields I can turn off or turn on. It doesn't really do anything for what we're displaying here in this scenario. All right, then finally, just a few other things of interacting with this visual. Of course, you can sort the information. So I probably want to maybe sort this by most important or maybe by the time. You can do that by going underneath the more options section here, of course. And you can see you can sort by any of the fields that you have inside of the data set. So for example, maybe I want to sort by the ones that were retweeted most. I can select sort by retweeted. And then I can see it looks like this one was retweeted 71 times, this one 16, 11, 6, 3, so on and so forth. And so I can use this information to dive deeper into my data, perhaps. I can even take this Twitter data and analyze it in other ways. Uh, by selecting this, it does allow you to do things like cross-highlighting and cross-filtering. By selecting individual tweets, you would be able to see other visuals filtered based on it, as long as you have a relationship to other data sets uh, in regards to the Twitter data. So pretty interesting stuff. It's a great way to be able to intermingle in your social media data that you're trying to analyze into your dashboard through the timeline by CloudScope. That's it for this one, a really short one, not a ton inside the format section. We reviewed all those. Of course, there are some other sections for the title and the background and lock aspect. Those are things that are available on every single one of the visuals. So that's really it for this one, a very quick demonstration. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot. Thank you.